Hey guys, welcome to our joyful home. I'm Sabrina. And I'm Josiah. And today's video, we are going to be talking about podcasts and our favorite ones or ones we like to listen to. Yep. So there's a good list from each of us. And so let's go ahead and jump into this video. I have uh, 12 or 13 on my phone. A couple of them I haven't actually listened to yet. And then a few of them I listen to very regularly and some just sporadically. But I figure I'll just go in alphabetical order that they're on my phone. So the first one I have is uh, Bible Thinker. Uh, Mike Winger is the guy's name. And he does a lot of theology, apologetics, giving answers to questions that people have about the Bible. Uh, I've only listened to a couple episodes, and uh, I like his attitude, I like how he presents things. And again, I probably should say this beforehand, uh, every podcast that we listen to, we're not saying it's perfect, <laughs> or that there's uh, uh, not things we disagree with from time to time. And uh, specifically, I don't listen to things I, I specifically listen to different people's views. Um, that I don't necessarily agree with because one, it sharpens me and makes me have to think more and evaluate if what I believe is actually correct. Um, and then also, also if I continue to say, yeah, no, that's not correct, it, it sharpens me and allows me to to uh, attack their viewpoints from different angles. But anyway, so like I said, uh, Bible Thinker, I've only listened to a couple of his, um, but yeah, I was recommended by a gal at church that uh, enjoys listening to him. And uh, so that's my first one. Do you have? Yeah. Uh, probably my first go-to one as of recently has been Courageous Parenting, actually. He hasn't listened to it yet, um, but I really like their way about bringing up different parenting issues. And they don't just talk about parenting, they talk about marriage, they talk about um, different things happening in the world. But they're very balanced as far as um, Christianity goes, they're not like super crazy in ideas this way or that way. Um, they try not to, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this, but they're, they're very balanced is what I'm trying to say. And so um, they have nine kids and so they've had quite a lot of parenting expertise on that because they've been doing it a long time. They have one of their kids is married so they have, they have some good insight. But anyway, I've been enjoying that. Um, and then, uh, like, not everything on there is perfect, you know, but I enjoy it and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So that's really all there is to say about that one. But yeah, because I haven't listened to a bunch yet, so I'm just saying that right now that's what I've been listening to. And as I listen to it more, I'll get more of an idea of what they're all about and stuff. So, and your one, next one. <laughs> we, can, we can put links for all these yep. in the description too if you guys want to check them out. Mm -hmm. Uh, next one on my list, and probably the most frequent one I listen to, is uh, Carrie Schmidt and Emmanuel Baptist Church in Newington, Connecticut. He just has a very, a very healthy style of studying the Bible and preaching, and he's not dry, <laughs> um, but what he actually says lines up with Scripture, and he's he makes it applicable to your daily life. Um, there, he's very, very balanced biblically. There's uh, a lot of people that say he's too liberal, and a lot of people that say he's too conservative, which, <laughs> interesting note, neither one of those are found in scripture. We just want to make sure that everything we do lines up with what the Bible has to say, and then where it doesn't speak, we have room to uh, to pray and ask the Lord which way we should go. <laughs> but anyway, that that's definitely one of my favorites, and I would highly recommend it to anybody that just wants a healthy, a healthy gospel pastor to listen to. <laughs> So another one I like to listen to, um, this is one we've listened to together actually, is Keeping It Young. Um, I think that's, yeah. So it it's more about like marriage and family life. Um, it's like a good parenting slash marriage con um, podcast that he actually started listening to before I did. And um, I like their view on how parenting and marriage goes and they, all, they bring it back to a biblical perspective. Everything they get is from the Bible, um, which actually on the other podcast they talked about, there that's also the thing I like about them is everything they talk about is from the Bible. And anytime you are looking for a good parenting podcast, if they're not getting their 
advice from the Bible, then probably not a great. It might be a nice idea, but that's but, about it. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. So um, I'm always looking for parenting podcasts that, again, get their knowledge, get their wisdom from the Bible. So, but they're a really good one, and um, that is one that we've actually listened to together. Yep. Um, some of these that we're talking about, we don't always listen to together because he works, we're just busy. Yeah. and I am a stay-at-home mom. So a lot of times we're not together. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, before I move on to my next one, that's also one of mine that I listen to fairly often. And I just appreciate how they address issues together, mm-hmm. um, and so sometimes you can see how you know the male versus female brain thinks and works in different situations. And uh, but yeah, they're very much unified together as a team, and uh, they just explain things biblically, but also from a practical, helpful standpoint of raising children and trying to to teach them and encourage them to follow after the Lord. And they just have a very, very genuine caring spirit and it comes across in their episodes. And very much looking forward to meeting them next year because they will be our uh, guest speakers at our marriage retreat uh, in February of next year. So very very much looking forward to meeting them and just giving them a good tone and we appreciate all the the work and effort they do to encourage and uh, yeah. challenge people as, as parents and spouses. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so next one on my list uh, is Church Advance with Brian Sams. I uh, don't agree with everything that he talks about, but he makes a lot of good points as far as uh, getting out of some of the ruts and traditions that are just prevalent and a lot of people just do just because they've always done. Mm-hmm. and. Uh, he causes you to think a little bit and evaluate why you're doing what you're doing with some of the some of the episodes that he has, um, and he has a lot of good guest preachers on there from time to time too. But uh, yeah, so that's one that I enjoy listening to. Uh, would like to try to make it to one of their conferences in Jacksonville, Florida. I think at some point, just to to check it out and visit. But yeah, so that's the next one on my list. Um, next one on mine. Mine's shorter, so you know. We'll get to the end of this really quickly, but um, but I have a couple more to share. Uh, the one I want to talk about is the She Proves Faithful podcast. I actually really like this one. I have um, a lot of ladies have actually said that they like her, but she. I'm trying to decide or uh, figure out exactly what to call her podcast, but as far as it's just uh, every day to day like. Um, for any woman really who is a Christian she does a lot of different she's a mom so she does a lot of different things about motherhood Um, she'll also talk about being a wife being a mother and it's all from a biblical stance so I like her podcast he's not he hasn't listened to any of them so he wouldn't know but I've listened to her for a couple years now and just off and on so I don't know a whole lot but I've enjoyed it when I do bring up her podcast I enjoy what she has to say and it's very balanced and it's just very much heartfelt like she just wants to give women an encouragement about walking daily with the Lord walking daily with your husband you know just she talks about all kinds of different things and so she has a very sweet demeanor (laughs) she's very kind very generous and so I've enjoyed her the next one on my list is Leading in the Gospel. Um, this one is done primarily by Carrie Schmidt, uh, one of the guys I listen to fairly often. But this is a, a series that he does with uh, another young pastor, and I can't remember his name, but uh, that he mentors and uh, helps him out as he's uh, taking over a church and uh, trying to, to figure out how to run things efficiently and keep people motivated to serve the Lord and be encouraged despite everything going on in the world and so it's uh, just a lot of practical advice and counsel to people in ministry and how to have the right attitude and the right spirit and motivation as you're doing what you're doing and, and a lot of a lot of practical tips on how to do things but a lot of also uh, spiritual encouragement and uh, they bring on guests from time to time to talk about different issues in ministry and family and, and how all that works together but I, I really enjoy listening to that one too. The next one I want to talk about is Happy Home Birth. Um, as most of you know who have been on my channel for a while, I am a very, very passionate about home birth and natural remedies and all kinds of stuff natural. Um, but she is, I really like how, so it's a gal 
and she talks about home birth and she also is a Christian which is nice because it brings a lot of good she doesn't bring a lot of weird stuff into birth which I do find a lot of natural people people I mean mean meanwhile but I do not think it's from the it's what God would want you to do or listen to or even put into your head um, she doesn't have any of that she has a couple things I don't agree with she does a couple things like um, she's not necessarily against hypnobirthing which again I'm not too sure about that I don't like it I like the idea but she does do that that's the only thing I found that I disagree with on her with her but anyway she brings a very good wholesome atmosphere to birth and how it's just your body's designed to do it and you shouldn't over medicalize it um, so it's kind of fun but I've enjoyed her the whole time I was pregnant with Jonathan I listened to her like almost all of her episodes which was fun I'm really into listening and reading other people's birth stories and so it's just fun when you're pregnant and you're getting close and you're just like I want to think on other things besides when am I gonna get you know when am I, when is it my turn so it's fun to listen to other people's stories um, but yeah that's a really good home birth podcast if you're looking for more information on home birth or you just want to listen to other home birth stories my next one is Soteriology 101. Um, for those of you that don't know, Soteriology just means the study of salvation. Um, if you guys haven't heard that word. Uh, this uh, guy's name is Leighton Flowers, and he is a professor at uh, Dallas Seminary, I think. I could be wrong, but don't quote me on that. Um, anyway, he does a, a podcast specifically to do designed to deal with salvation and how people are saved. He used to be a uh, Calvinistic preacher and teacher and he came to realize that that doesn't necessarily line up with scripture. And so now he goes through a lot of famous passages that Calvinistic scholars like to use and explains them in a way that fits with all of scripture as a whole. Um, I, I like his attitude and that he's not condescending or uh, Doesn't doesn't treat people who disagree with him as uh, lessers. You know, he, he he sees them as equal. He calls them his brothers and sisters, but just points out how you know they're not understanding correctly. Um, and then uh, the, the part that I think is cool is he'll actually take turns. And a lot of people go back and forth with him. They have like ongoing debates across the internet. Well, they'll play each other's videos and respond back and forth. And so it's kind of interesting. It's like a delayed debate. <laughs> and so. Um, He'll play a, a segment and answer questions, and then you know someone else will respond to his stuff, and they'll go back and forth. But it's delayed, and, and you got to really pay attention to catch all the stuff back and forth. But anyway, he's got a lot of good episodes that deal with um, some some faulty faulty interpretations of the scripture, and uh, very very intellectually smart, and, and has a lot of very intellectually smart people on the program to help explain things uh, in a way that fits with the entire portion of the Bible and doesn't, you know, just pick things that make sense with a worldview. They actually describe how it fits within scripture and, and why our worldview should be what it is. But So that's that's a good one to check out if you'd like to learn more about that. And I'm going to share just two because they're really quick. Um, but I have two other birth podcasts that I like to listen to. And one is called Built to Birth, the, Bur the Built to Birth podcast. And uh, she's a doula, actually. But she shares a lot of different birth facts and stuff, but she also shares a lot of different stories. Um, great, great to listen to. I don't think she's a Christian or anything, but has a lot of good um, balanced ideas about it. Um, and then the other one is the birth hour. So the birth hour has been all around for a long time, um, but they have everything from cesarean birth to home birth to, you know, um, birth center birth, uh, everything on there. So if you're looking for more of a variety, that's a great place to start. Um, and they're all just birth stories. And they interview other people, which is fun, which all of these interview other people. Um, and then one more is the Delivery Diaries. Same thing. It's just another plug-in for birth stories, and it's really great. And I don't, again, don't think they're Christian. The only Christian podcast that's about birth is the Built a Home, or the Home Birth one. Um, so, but anyway, those are great three resources if you want to learn more about birth and all that kind of stuff. So, 
Uh, next one, I've actually only listened to one episode, um, and it's more geared towards women anyway. It's the Elisa Childers podcast, oh, um, yeah. and she has a bunch of ladies on, and they talk about, uh, from a female perspective, how to deal with things biblically and whatnot. And so I can't speak for hardly anything except for the one episode that I listened to, <laughs> so I don't know a whole lot uh, about it. But uh, the one episode I did listen to was, was very good. Um, they had a gal on... Uh, one of the Duggar girls, what was her name? Oh, uh, was it Ginger or yeah, Jill? Yeah, uh, Ginger, Ginger. Ginger Duggar. Um, for those of you that don't know, is a big, huge 19 family. Kids. Yeah, they had the show 19 Kids and Counting. And unfortunately, uh, some of the belief system that their family yeah. subscribed to is not biblical and uh, very unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And so she was interviewing her and asking her about her experience growing up in that and, uh, and not leaving the Lord or her faith, but uh, the word she used was disentangle, which I thought was very nice because you hear a yeah. lot of uh, deconstruction in Christianity where she didn't want to deconstruct her faith. She, she did love the Lord and wanted to have a healthy relationship with him and understand what the scripture actually said. She just wanted to disentangle the false views from men yeah. that uh, she had been taught growing up and, uh, and anchor on what God actually says. And this is one that I was listening to. He yeah, listened to with me at to one together. point too. So it was good. Very good. And then but yeah, I haven't listened to anything other than the one episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last one I want to talk about is actually the Naked Marriage Podcast. And it's just about marriage. Pure and simple. Um, I enjoy it. I haven't listened to a whole ton of the episodes. But they're Christians and they talk about Christian marriage and sex. They talk a lot about that um, because it's actually a topic that a lot of people, a lot of Christians, do not talk about. Which is unfortunate. It is very dumb, actually. I think that... And we will have some episodes of mm -hmm. our own on <laughs> intimacy and, and the way God designed things. Yeah. But, you know, more podcasts should be talking about this because and you don't have to be vulgar. You don't have no. to be weird. It's just, I mean, it's good. It's the bed, the marriage bed is undefiled. It's something God gives us. Be, it's a gift and so we shouldn't be treating it like this terrible evil thing and or taboo that's yeah. not appropriate to talk about your children shouldn't at a certain age should definitely know what it is and, and they, they shouldn't should know, be afraid of it no they should know from you and not the internet or their friends at school or oh, yeah. you know, wherever else they might pick up on it from they need a healthy appreciation of what the bible actually says and the fact that it is a wonderful yeah. enjoyable gift but it's to be used appropriately right. So that's a good podcast if you're interested, and um, just the Naked Pair, <laughs> the Naked Five Marriage Podcast, and it's it's good. They have a really good balanced view, and again, all they get, everything they talk about is from the Bible, so that's also a good plus. Um, but yeah, so that's it for me. I have a couple more. Uh, the next one is the Living Waters Podcast. Um, oh yeah. This is Easy Ray, Mark, and Oscar. I listen to their YouTube videos, but yeah. Yeah, and so they have a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they are very practical when it comes to uh, living out your Christianity mm -hmm. and a lot of practical life applications, which I find is, is very helpful and beneficial. Uh, a lot of how to share your faith uh, in a way that is not, how you say, uh, not, what was, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> not worldly? Yeah, that's not worldly. It's a, the... It's a Godly? biblical approach to <laughs> evangelizing, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, and actually using a lot of his material uh, on Wednesdays with the teens, we're actually going through teens, uh, helping the teens understand how to evangelize and share yeah. your faith. And, uh, in our and, church and actually in the area too. Yeah. And uh, give answers to the questions that people ask. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so they have a lot of... A lot of episodes on Christianity and uh, dealing with stuff in our culture and our uh, day and age and how to appropriately navigate that, which which is cool. And I always like podcasts where there's you know a handful of different people speaking, and so mm -hmm. you get some different perspectives on how on how different people think and uh, approach things. Yeah. Next one is Undaunted Life, a man's podcast by Kyle Thompson. Uh, I've only listened to I don't know maybe six to eight episodes or so um but i really like the ones i listen to i'm not a fan of his intro music but other than that uh he has tons of different guests on all the time from uh, elected officials to 
church leaders to mm-hmm. authors to artists and uh, just ask them questions about why they do what they do and how that pertains to uh, Christian living. And then I think it's once a month they go through a chapter of the Bible, him and a couple other guys, and they discuss uh, how to practically live out what it says. So I've, I've enjoyed listening to his episodes. Again, and you, know, you don't agree with everything you listen to, but it's nice to get other people's perspectives and, uh, and uh, just double, tech, double check your own and make sure that what you're doing is actually scriptural and... Uh, yeah, like the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. So shouldn't shouldn't be afraid from seeking out other viewpoints and uh, making sure what you understand is actually correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one is uh, Wall Builders Live. I was actually and, I haven't uh, listened to him in a long time. I, yeah, I haven't listened to him for a, a little while, uh, but they used to be one of my favorites, and I still really enjoy them. But uh, David Barton. And his son, Tim Barton, are primarily who's uh, on there. And then Rick Green is uh, the co-host. And they go through a lot of issues uh, today regarding politics and the yes. founding of our country and how to have a biblical biblical worldview and perspective on all that. And they, they, they do a lot of history. Uh, he's got the largest private collection of historical documents. Mm-hmm. Even the U.S. Congress buy, borrows documents from him from time to time uh, for different events and parties and whatnot. Uh, very, very smart man. His memory is excellent when it comes to remembering historical facts and dates. And uh, if, if you want to have good resources to explain to someone how our country was founded upon God and His Word, uh, he's a great place to go to. Fortunately, our country's not a Christian country anymore. No. Um, but he's got a lot of good resources, and uh, I, I, yeah, I just enjoy listening to them and how they explain things and it just is simple mm-hmm. yet very uh, educational I guess you can say. And that's that's one that we have both listened to. He actually has listened to it the most but before we were married it was one that he listened to off and on and he introduced me to it and it was it's really good. It's something that I think even when your children are older it would be a good thing for homeschool but which is another thing we hopefully want to talk about on here is homeschooling. And then the last one of mine, um, he hasn't released an episode for a little while, uh, but is Worldview with J. Michael Lester. And he's actually one of my college professors. He's actually now the president of Veritas Baptist College. And he's got a handful of different episodes interviewing uh, different, uh, different pastors or different students that he's had from time to time just on how they navigate through life in different circumstances. He interviews a couple missionaries and talks about some things like materialism, but just some good some good solid episodes uh, where they go back and forth talking about how to do things biblically. So that's, that's the last one on my list. Cool. So yeah, that's our podcast, and uh, just kind of wanted to share those. There's some really good resources when you're looking for information or and it's nice whatever. you know i enjoy to read and mm-hmm. really like to but you know a lot of times when you're working or busy doing stuff mm-hmm. you don't have the opportunity to do that so it's a yep. lot easier to plug in and listen to a, a podcast and and uh, have, hear people dialogue back and forth about you know whatever interests you yeah for sure but you guys can feel free to share what podcast you guys like yeah, to listen to in the to comments know. maybe we'll, we'll we'll look at them and be like oh we need to listen to that and a couple to our lists <laughs> so anyway That's our list, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time.